Hi everyone, my name is Alex and I'm the founder of Olixa. Um, so I've been in Roma today to do the Gua Sha tool workshop. Um, thanks for buying a tool earlier this week and I'm, it's a shame that you weren't able to make it today. But I thought I'd put this video together to show you a few of the um, techniques that I showed in the workshop today. So you must have this one already at home. This is our Gua Sha tool. Um, so gua sha is uh, something that's originated in traditional Chinese medicine and gua sha roughly translates to scraping. Um, so the idea is that they use a, you use a blunt object to scrape across the skin and what that does is help to move the energy or the chi around the skin and it also helps to stimulate circulation and help with lymphatic drainage. So in the face, um, by sort of scraping the tool across the skin you help to like bring new fresh blood to the surface and also help to remove any toxins um, and sort of like flush out the lymphatic system. So the first like general rule of thumb is to always use the tool um, with a facial oil ideally or a moisturizer and that is to help the tool like slide across the skin um, instead of like dragging on the skin. So you don't want it to like be pulling the skin, you want it to be like smoothing very, um, like sorry, sliding very smoothly along. So I'm gonna use our Amazonian Kakai facial oil underneath. So this one is a really nice oil actually to use in the evenings and it has a good bit of slip. So I'm gonna just do one side of my face to start with just to show you. So you sort of rub that all over, just put it on this side too. And then you take the tool. So before you use the tool, um, you should ideally uh, wash it. So you can use a like a mild soap to wash it under just fresh water, or you can use a um, like an uh, antibacterial spray as well to just spray over the stone um, before you use it. So to start with, you take the edge here, and the idea is when you're dragging it across the skin, you'd like it's a good idea to use a very blunt angle. So rather than sort of like that kind of like the straight up angle, you want it to be fairly flat to the skin. So generally, maybe a thing a finger width. Um, distance so on this side it will be that kind of angle and then here you have it's a bit hard to see on the camera but it will be fairly fairly flat so a finger basically could be fit in between it um, and then the other rule of thumb is if you want to also pull it across your skin so you don't want to be pushing it into the skin and the same goes for both sides of the face so usually it's a good idea to swap sides with your hand so you can pull it rather than getting the temptation to accidentally push it that way so that's basically it so you start the, the little um, routine by firstly going up the neck and what this does is help to bring some fresh blood flow up to the face to start the treatment so you, just a few times is okay and then what we would do is sort of work from from the bottom of the face to the top and then from the inside to the outside. So you can start under the jawline and maybe use this side. And you, using a very blunt angle, hold the skin tight and then pull across. So that's just going underneath the jaw. And again, you can use any side of the tool that you like, just depending what fits your face, because every face is different. So move up this thing, you can use this side, and that's just going along the jaw, to the top, and then maybe this bit here, and go across, just under the cheekbone, and then you can introduce a bit of a wobble when you get to the end, like a wiggle, and that will help to um, stimulate the lymph, lymphatic drainage system. And then you can pull it down the neck too. That will also just help to flush out the skin afterwards. So you can then use this big long side across the whole face, little wiggle, and then down. And then down. So you can do this a few times, maybe three or five times like per movement. And then we can get to the forehead and so you can do it up the forehead like this. And then maybe across the skin like this. And then again down behind the ear and the neck to flush it. And then on the forehead you can also use this angled 
angled edge, the jagged edge, um, across if you get any tension in your forehead or any fine lines, you can just hold the skin tight and then rub it at a perpendicular angle across the lines like that and then also like this um, and you can this action helps to create a bit of a micro aggression in the skin which will help to stimulate the production of collagen so in turn sort of even up or smooth out those fine lines and then again across your eyebrow you can use one edge so really, you can, I guess the best thing to do is just keep experimenting with um, how your face feels and how each of the sides feel on your face as well. Just following the principle of like pulling the tool at a blunt angle and going from the out, inside to the outside and then down the neck, and you can't go you can't go too wrong with really, really. Okay, so that was a, um, a routine that you could follow in the evenings or in the mornings even. Um, it shouldn't take too long, you can do it in maybe like 10 minutes. Um, really though, I think the thing I'd like to stress most of all is that um, it should be something that you really enjoy doing. So if you've only got like a few minutes in the day to do it, there's no need to get stressed about it. You can just like quickly do it. It's like a very fast routine or you can just focus on one area of your face. Um, so yeah, every little bit will help um, over time. So if you do have the time to do it each evening, you'll see the results. Um, uh, after using it for a while. So yeah, that's the tool. Thanks so much for um, coming into the store and getting one. And if you've got any questions at all, you can find me on Instagram. Um, you can just like send me a direct message or um, write comments on my post or whatever and I can get back to you if you've got any specific questions about how to use it or if you want any more information or any other tips. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.